Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends. Today on Painting with Master Temple we've got a, uh, a canvas that's put upright which means it's in portrait mode. We're obviously not going to paint a portrait, we're going to paint some of uh, some of nature's masterpieces up here but it's, it's upright instead of horizontal which would be landscape. Okay, on the top half it's been coated in primer, white primer, allowed to dry completely and I've coated that in a, a thin layer of liquid white and liquid clear which are these mediums here, I don't know if you can see that, that's liquid clear, it's a thin clear oil based medium and the same with liquid white which is just there, again a thin oil based medium. Down here I've coated this in grey acrylic uh, primer, allowed that to dry completely then gone over, completely over that with a thin layer of liquid clear. It's all wet, it's slick, there's a bit of white paint there on the finger. Uh, but it's all wet so we can blend colour on the canvas rather than tone the cells to death on the old palette. Okay, so let's pick up, uh, I think we'll do a nice mountain, bit of forestry, a nice maybe a little bubbling stream perhaps, uh, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to pick up a, <laughs> a nice two inch brush and I'm going to hit some phthalo blue. And I pull the paint out, I don't know if you can see that, just pull it out and tap in nice even distribution of paint all over the paintbrush okay and then I start in the top corner and just start up here okay because we've got a tiny bit of liquid white on here this will get it will get a little bit lighter as we go towards the horizon and that's what we need in a landscape as we get less paint on the brush and as we uh, mix more liquid white into that that's exactly what we're after Okay, and we come down there, as far down as we can, just like that, okay. And then just go slowly across the whole thing, up and down, left and right, just like that. And leave some variant in the sky, where there's white parts, you will get a little bit of variant. Okay, we said we're going to have a little stream down here, so somewhere down here, I think, if we just put a bit of blue. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna have yet. It's all up there. <laughs> I just got a bit of a vision. So we'll just put some blue in down there for now. Okay. Now then, I think we'll have a little cloud with this. So I'm gonna take a one inch brush and I'm gonna take some white paint, just titanium white paint, just really hit. Okay, and then somewhere up here, we're just gonna dab in nice little cloudy effect just like that okay wipe the excess off on a paper towel and then go again wherever you want these clouds that's where we should put them that's wherever we should put them now you may notice i've got two piles of white paint here one's for mixing with and one is for just pure white paint And I do that with the yellows as well. I don't want greeny yellow when I'm trying to paint a yellow sky or something like that. That, that would just disturb the eye. Okay, set that brush down. Now take another dry brush, make sure it's clean and dry. And I'm just gonna twirl the base of this. These clouds up, just twirl them up. Twirl them up just like that. And then just very gently go up, fluff up. Tease them, make them part of a painting. See, you've got a little bit of an air there, that's no problem. Just take it off and knock it out. And there we've got a nice little cloudy sky, just up there like so. There. Like that. Okay, set that brush down. Okay, let's take a palette knife and now we're gonna mix some, uh, some background color paint. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of Prussian blue, midnight black, I'm gonna put a bit of Van Dyke brown in that as well. I think we'll have a, a, a mountain that's got some, some browny colors to it as well. Okay, so we'll just pull it out flat, scrape across, nice little roll of paint on the knife, and then we'll start somewhere where we want this mountain to be. So up here, mountains seem to be quite nice popular thing to do to paint. 
can and we'll just put the indication of a nice mountain range just like that okay maybe we'll give him another peak just about there we don't know I don't know like that okay wipe the brush sorry the palette knife off because we'll need that soon to put some highlights and shadows on okay with the brush that's got the blue paint on that we painted the sky with we're just going to pull this out just like that and blend that away there we go just like that eh and blend that down into the remains of the liquid white see we've got a bit of blue there off the paintbrush that's all right that's not bad give a blue cast to that that foggy area down there Maybe we wanted that to happen, I don't know. Here we'll have to fill it somewhere up with a tree or I don't know, I don't know. Right, so again, take the palette knife and I'm gonna mix up a bit of white paint and I'm gonna touch of burnt umber in that. A bit of the other brown as well, Van Dyke brown. Cut off the little roll of paint and we're gonna start up here and we're just very lightly, hardly touch, hardly touch the canvas. And we'll pull it down because it's got the browny colours to this. It'll give an indication of some, some like stones or different colours, you know. Not all mountains have a snow capped. Yeah, just down like that. Nice thick firm paint, that's what we're after. Got plenty of brown in that one. There we go, the snow has melted there. Okay, and a bit on this one. Just like that, just drag it down. You want the paint to break, fall apart as you're pulling. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this white paint and I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of phthalo blue. So it's got browns, blues, and whites. That will be our shadow color. Okay, we'll come up here. A little bit of a shadow in there just like that again on this side up here a bit more of a shadow down like so and again on this one this third one here again I make I make noises when I'm painting <laughs> I think it helps I think it helps okay okay back to the highlight color maybe a bit more white in with that and then we can come back and start to really define some of these edges if you've tangled them up in the in the shadow there nice and thick Just like so. Now we've got a bit of a mountain range going on now. And again down there. How quick and simple was that? Now we can go into pure white, so I'll just wipe the knife off, make sure I've got none of that brown paint on. Bit of white paint. And we can maybe hit the peak right up there. And again, just very delicately maybe put a bit of snow there yeah, like so maybe put a bit more down here just wipe the knife off because what we're going to do come back with a dry a dry brush or a relatively dry brush maybe I'll wash this one so old glass thinner wash the brush and old glass thinner beat it up make sure it's dry i'm going to hit the white paint just pick up a bit of white paint and then i'm just going to hit the base of this really really firmly hit that follow the angles of the mountain uh, you don't want to go straight across and chop that off now I'm going to follow the angles of the mountain just like that so it's living in some sort of misty wilderness 
So it's floating up there, like that. And then we lift up, just bring all that together, just like that. Now it's simple. Okay, and just blend all that down. Right, let me wash that brush again. Okay, so the paint can's quite far down. I'm gonna to have to adapt the paint can. The paint wash can. I wash this one as well. Okay. So again, just odorless paint thinner. I make sure it's odorless because it, you know, normal paint thinner really does smell. And I'm in an enclosed space and sometimes when I've got the heaters on, I don't really want to be, you know, smelling of paraffins and cleaners and things like that. Okay, I'm going to take the rounded brush, just this one, okay, and I'm going to touch a little bit of, let's see, let's let's pick a nice colour. I'm going to pick a Liz and Crimson, okay, I'm going to, just a touch of the purple as well. And I'm going to hit here, just here. They're lovely colours these, lovely colours. Okay, maybe vary the colour slightly as well. Some indications of some far away trees that I live in out here. Maybe hit the blues as well as I'm going towards the edges of the painting. Maybe it gets a bit cooler. We want that the, the warm parts in the middle, you see, that draws you out into the middle. Just like that. All the way across. All the way across. A bit more blue on that, I think. There. And down. Like so, okay, let's take another big brush. This one, dry it off, okay, touch the white paint. And again, we're gonna diffuse the base. Now you could have done this all in liquid white, but I wanted some darker colors down here. So we can add white, but it's a little bit difficult to take it away. Not impossible, not, nothing is impossible. Just like that, blend all the way up, there like so. Again, bring all that together. Okay, let's have another layer. Okay, so let's change the flavour somewhat. So we'll take that mountain colour that we had. I'm going to put a touch of mm, green, let's see if green works. So I'm going to sap green into that mountain colour. And then down here, but you need that mist just there, just to make it work. Just to make it work. Okay, across, like so. Okay, maybe up here, like that. All the way across, maybe, maybe it goes, we said we wanted something up here, so just to close this part in. So we'll put that there, like that. down there I don't know I don't know okay right let's take that color let's mix up a little bit of a pile white uh, I think a bit of magenta that makes an absolute gorgeous absolute gorgeous looking purpley color pinky purpley colour. Same dirty brush, straight in with that. Okay, and then here and there, we may just tap in a few. Just there and here. There like so. Maybe, maybe we'll touch the yellow, so we'll go into this yellow. Give it a little touch there. Wherever we want them, that's exactly where we should have them. Just there like that. Again there. Maybe up here. And again here. 
just down there like so. Maybe we'll change the flavour again, add a bit more red into this one. We don't know. Like so, maybe we should have some uh, reflections. Maybe we should have a little bit of a reflection. So take some of this dark colour, pull this down before we start diffusing anything. We'll just pull some of this down. We don't know where water's going to be, but we know we're going to have a little bit in there somewhere. That and then just gently go across just like that there okay put that down because we'll use that again okay uh, what we'll have a bit of Van Dyke Brown cut that across and then we'll just put a little bit of sludge mud whatever we call it down here just like that and there probably have some of that as well Okay, wipe that off, get a bit of this highlight colour that we use for the mountain. I haven't got much left. <laughs> and then we'll just highlight some of this. Just across there like that, and a bit more on there like so. Wipe the knife off. Okay, right, fan brush. Let's pick up a fan brush, where are you? We'll pick up this one. Now I'm gonna go into some yellows, maybe a bit of green as well. And then just wear this, I just want to diffuse this top edge of this, this sludge here, this mud. I don't want a straight flat um, line going across. You'd have all sorts of grasses and ferns and all sorts of things just living, living out here. So I think with that, we'll do that just there. That sort of breaks that up. And again on this one as well put that in there just like that. I think we might have something here you probably guessed that but we don't know yet we don't know okay let's go back to this brush the surrounded brush a bit more of the yellow paints it's got reds on there it's got crimson it's got purples it's got the dark colors a bit of green in there as well okay let's, let's just reaffirm this okay right let's pick up Let's pick up a, I want a one inch paintbrush, where are you? I'll use this one. Okay, and we'll pick up some black. And I'm just gonna touch this down here like so. In fact, we could just swirl this in just like that. Just a, like that. Okay, maybe some on this side. Maybe a bit of that mountain color. That, just under here as well. I don't know if it comes down, maybe. I don't know, around there like that. We'll just fill this here. Anything that we don't, we can always paint over, can't we? Yeah, get rid of that air. Okay. Right, I'm gonna wash this to a shot. So again, all those paint thinner. Shake it off, beat it up, and we've got a nice dry clean brush. Okay, let's take a little thin brush and use some brown. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of this burnt umber just down there like that. That will give us a nice little tree trunk. Okay, just wipe some of this paint off this rounded brush some of it not all of it okay back into the greens back into the yellows and what we'll do we'll come back up here and start highlighting this one so just above just above where your dark colors are the shadows we'll just put some of these nice little uh, greeny colours and all we need to do is just 
into it. I don't know if you can see this, but we'll just push the brush. I'll try and get a shot of that, but we'll just push the brush. And then we've got a little ridge of paint and that's what we're gonna paint with. And we'll just touch just like that. There, and your tree trunk will still stay in there. There we go. Okay, now then, let's go on to, we're gonna have something there. I want something there. So again, back into the, the browns. Okay, and we'll have another trunk just about the uh, thing, right down there. Right, now that's give us an indication of where we need some, some a tree. Okay, I can work to that. Okay, so now let's put a, yeah, we'll put my palette knife. Get a bit of thin white paint, some liquid white, we'll put that on the palette, put it out, and then where our waterline will be, just gonna cut in a little waterline. Don't want it too bright. Just keep your knife nice and parallel to the base of the canvas. Bit on this one as well there like that go through the tree trunk if you wish we'll come back and resort that out okay maybe that's an angry over thing maybe we'll have some sort of little bit of i don't know water water flowing fast water there okay you get something that's not too good just keep rubbing it'll go away and look good it'll come and play with you Maybe here and there, a couple more little ripples where the old big pikes jumped out. Okay, right, into this back area here, you can just scratch in a few tree trunks here and there if you want to have them in. You don't always have to have them in. I'm trying to find a place to clean the knife. I have this massive space here, but um, <laughs> I end up using. I end up losing half of uh, half of it. Okay, so now we'll just draw that through there. Okay, that gives us a nice little, uh, little tree, little tree trunk. There we go. Okay, now let's work on this bank here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a. I think we'll have the one inch brush back. Okay, and again we're going to go into some yellow. So pull straight down with this yellow paint. Okay. And then I'm going to go into the greens and mix that there. Okay, I'm just going to touch on here. I'm going to create all kinds of nice little grassy little verges. And all we do is just touch. Think about how the land is flowing towards that water. That's all we need to do. Think about how that land is flowing towards that water, just there like that. You do this with two inch if you wish. Maybe a bit more control with this one inch. Around there like that. Like so. And of course the more you tap, the more it'll pick up that, that dark under colour as well. Okay been on this side so again just touch there. if you're having trouble with it sticking because it's a little bit thick as the paint in places just pick up a tiny bit titanium white not much mix that in there with it and then let's see what we've got there like that keep loading the brush Varying the colours. Coming down there like so. A bit more on this side there. Like that. Yes, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting somewhere, aren't we? I think we are. Okay. Bit more of the different colours now, we'll go back onto this side. And then really, really let's set this a fire. Let's get a bit of red in there. A bit of red. Yeah, 
like that. Okay, maybe a bit on this side as well. So vary the yellows, vary the greens. And we might come back and put something on this. Okay, and again, once again, let's pull that tree trunk right down there like so. Okay, let's work on this tiny little waterfall we said we'd have. So let's get a fan brush, a little bit of uh, thin white paint, tiny bit of Prussian blue in with that. No, a phthalo blue, okay? Comes across here, maybe a bit more whiter. Let's, let's really stand that out. <laughs> Picked up a bit of green, that's all right. We have green in water, don't we? Okay, just there like so. Neaten all this slot up. Okay, just wipe that off. Where we would have, where we would have this splashing water, probably I have. Flashes like that and maybe take some of this back you see some of that grey is still showing through yeah, like that okay let's work now um, on this tree trunk here all right so what we've got what we've got handy. We'll take some black paint, we'll take some brown paint, okay, just tap that in and we're going to put, just tap this up here, bring that down. Yeah, oh no, we're covering all some of, some of those trees that we've put in, but that's all right. We've made them, we've practiced, it's not a complete loss. It's not a complete loss. Okay, they're like so. Okay, right. So here and there, and I'm just going to put, uh, just grab that brush with the paint on, which has got the trunk color on. Just a couple of intermittent areas. All right, so now I'm going to thin the paint down. I'm going to use liquid clear on this. And I'm going to pull that out. In fact, I'm going to swirl this brush off one more time because it gets too heavy. Just clean that off as best as you can. Get a bit of the yellows, a bit of the greens, a bit of that liquid clear. So you want to make it a little bit thinner so it sticks. And then just tap. And it will come up here and just above the shadow, that's where we want to hit. Just there like so. Of course, at the end of the painting, once we've done, I'll give you a full-on face view of this, so you can see it in its all, its entirety. Now you can change the flavour slightly, a bit more of the yellows, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit more of liquid white. And then really sparkle some of these areas off, separate them down here like that. Had a tiny touch. Just a tiny touch more, thinner just to thin this down. Again, we've got lots of layers on here now. And that's all right, that's what we're after, big thick oil painting. But to do it all in one go, we need to keep the consistency going. There, like that. There we go. Okay, now let's work down here. Let's put some grassy things. Let's just keep all that, block all that, all that up. Maybe onto the other side. A couple more, just here and there. Vary the colours. Maybe put a little bush there. I think we're nearly finished. Just a 
bush there. It looked like a nice place for a nice living bush. <laughs> if you get my drift. Okay, so let's uh, sign this little do for you do. I think we're about done. Let me know how I've done. Let me know how you'll get on if you'll get on with this one. And I appreciate you coming over. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and all those things. But until next time, my fantastic friends, take care of the Sen, stay safe, and as always, happy days. <laughs>